Okay, we're back. With the adventures of Laura Cruz. Laura Cruz. Oh yeah, we didn't mention that. Yeah, I guess apparently she was going to be Laura Cruz for a while. Yeah. Like L-A-U-R-A. And now she's L-A-R-A. Croft. Oh, was she going to be American? Maybe? Probably. I don't even know what's back here. I'm scared. Well, she was going to be a dude. Right. She's going to be that mil a military kind of, oh, kind of dude. Nothing's back here. Wolves are back here. A military dude. You know, yeah. action hero. Yeah. Like, an archaeologist military dude? A military archaeologist? I think what they're going for here is an Indiana Jones uh, style thing. And they wanted just like a more militaristic Indiana Jones. I see. And then they just eventually decided to make it Laura Croft instead. I can't... I couldn't even fathom a male version. A male in, tor in Tomb Raider? Okay, someone have failed. Someone failed at applying medical aid. Yeah, you died with a med kit. Good job. Star also, you starved to death in the grocery store. It also appears to be an alien. It's also an alien. Maybe that's why it can use the med kit. Oh, and Bones. oh no, it's just texture. I thought it was another. <laughs> thought it was another item. Just texture. That's all right. Bones. Well, imagine what. She would look like if she were a guy. Like, that would be uh, probably, like, a rolled-up dress shirt. And the pants would be just long brown pants. Right? So who yeah. does she look like? Think about who that brings to mind. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I think the Indiana Jones comparisons are very, uh, very real. I mean, I don't think Indiana Jones would be caught wearing such a tiny, cute backpack. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. Is it? Yeah, it is. So Ooh. make sure you make a lot of noise shooting off two pistols <laughs> at the same time. Did you see what that was? It's a blob of polygons. It's a raptor. Okay. Yep, Bang. dinosaurs. Bang. Bang. That's, yeah, that's where she is. That's where it is, Laura. Exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, the great thing about this game is that it automatically aims for you. <laughs> so you don't need to worry about that. Now I feel like I'm going to need to heal. You're going to use that? Yeah, I'm going to use this. <sighs> because we've got some trouble. And I only have four shotgun shells. That's not going to do me any good. No, probably not. At least you have unlimited ammo with your guns. I do. Hey. Yeah? Hold that thought for a sec. Yeah. Uh, viewers, is this a good impression of Tim Allen? <laughs> Let me know. Okay, back to the game. So, there's gonna be... Look, they want you to check out these bones. Look at these bones. Scared bo- oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Bones? Bones. Yeah, see, there's bones there bones there. I don't want to deal with the thing that's over there right now. I just don't want it. Over the wall? Mm, past the bridge. Oh. Past the bridge. We might as well use those four and then switch back out if it's what I think it is. It is what you think it is. I just feel like I'm gonna get eaten. You probably will. I don't want to get eaten. Get that shotgun out. So you think I should just deal with it it's right now? It's definitely way harder than bear. Oh god. It's a freaking T-Rex, yo. It's a freaking T-Rex. Oh goodness. Is oh, it goodness. one hit kill? Switch your gun. <laughs> Pause. No, it's not one hit kill. What? Well, that was a lot easier. Wow, oh. I remember having to shoot it forever. Me too. What's the deal What's with the T Rex? What's the deal with T Rex? They ain't so tough. That one's not. He's they only also do really it once. Small too. Yeah, I remember him being way bigger. Yeah. Wow. Childhood. Being a kid, it makes things so much more intense. So much like, scarier. True story. Yeah. I was in Costco. You've heard me tell this story before. But I, I was in Costco and they had PlayStations set up. 
for, you know, you can just play them and test them. They wanted to show them off, and they had, one of them had Tomb Raider on it. And I was playing it, and it was left near this part, and I got to it, and the T-Rex uh, killed me. It just kind of shakes Laura around. And I threw up, because it was so intense. I did not, okay, I've heard you tell that story a lot. Um, <laughs> because I can't believe it. But I did not realize that you threw up in a Costco. It was in the Costco. <laughs> like, I threw up a tiny bit, and then I just left it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you, you just threw up a little and left a little pile I of left a little bit of puke in front of it. <laughs> just for the next person that, uh, went to use Well, I didn't station. want to get in trouble. <laughs> Good call. Because if I had told my mom, she would have been, like, mad. Yeah. So I didn't tell her. So... Yeah. At some point, your parents stop feeling sorry for you when you get sick. Yeah. Um, so I guess this is just, just Raptor, nothing else. Yeah, eventually everything you do and say becomes an annoyance to your parents. What age is that? Like, two or three? Oh, no, you keep the cute, cute factor until you're like... Five? No, I'd say six or seven. Six or seven, yeah. Or seven. I was older than that. And then, I mean, once you hit 10, you're at maximum annoying. Maybe oh, like yeah. 8. Whoa, well, yeah. That's what for it sure. happens. Yeah, 10, you're at maximum annoying. No one wants. No one wants you around. No. <laughs> All right. Ooh, secret. I think we're forgetting that children may watch this. <laughs> and then we just told a bunch of kids that they're annoying. Well, it's about time they learn the truth. Well, you know what? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's not your fault. You're just... You're... And maybe you can use this. You can take this <laughs> maybe and use it. Realize why your parents are getting so upset with you. Fed up with everything. And why you can literally stand there and be like, Mom, Mom, yeah, Mom. And they will just try to not answer you and like really hope that you're not actually there and talking to them. Yeah, so if you really want to get your parents' attention, be like, okay, I understand that... I understand that my existence is an annoying... Is a burden. Say, yeah... Mom and, mom and or dad, I understand that my existence is a burden on your very soul, but it's not my fault that I exist, it's yours, so pay attention to me. Yes. Look at this thing I have to show you. Yes. Watch me do this flip. No, look You're at, never going to get to see it again. Now look at me do this flip, or you will oh. forever regret it. Oh boy. Oh boy, wrong way. You will live in regret. You will live in regret of not seeing this flip. How long ago did we start this video? Oh, I don't even know. Did you set a timer? I forgot this time. Oh boy. We'll go three more minutes. How about that? That sounds good. I'm making some progress here. There's got to be a cog around here somewhere. What oh. if it was in the T-Rex? Mmm, I didn't bring a knife. Mm. I have to go barehanded. <laughs> Just stick my bare hands right in there. Right. Yep. Bloodborne visceral attack Bears. style. I'm trying to make a, a bear paw joke, but it just didn't pan out. Didn't pan out. Didn't pan out. There's a cog up here. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Sooner or later. Eventually. I mean, At some point. Keep climbing. Yeah. Is that a cog? All right. Yeah, it's clipped through the floor, but it's a cog. There we I go. Barely tell that you can even pick that up. Oh. You did something right. Beautiful music. Manly choir. <laughs> I like how they still display the gun on her, even though she, it's like not equipped. Yeah. I really like that in games when you get a new <laughs> item and it doesn't just get pulled out of the void. Yes. Yeah. When you equip it. It just makes your character look so much cooler. They have the shotgun. I don't know about the magnums and the Uzis though. I think they. I think if you have the Uzis. And you have the Uzis equipped. She has them by her sides. I don't think it's the oh, normal Oh, she pistols. switches it out? I'm not sure. Whatever. It's still cool. All right, you want to... Wanna... I just thought it was cool that they put that bit of extra effort there. Yeah. Where they, like, didn't have a lot of manpower and they didn't really 
spend a ton of time on the game either. Good on you. Or maybe they did spend a lot of time, like, working late, but it was released Work. within a year and a half. Working overtime. <laughs> but games were simpler, you know? Just used to be a row of dudes in front of some computers. Maybe a lady or two. I think a woman wrote the story for this, actually. Really? Yeah. Good on her. <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> <laughs> I was listening. Next time? We'll talk about the story next time. Next time. Extreme boobage. <laughs> Put your eye out with those things. Totally.